Hey guys, welcome to my channel Economics at a glance. So guys, today we will cover the most important topic of oligopoly market that is price rigidity. I know you must have heard about this term. Today we will deal with details of price rigidity. Before starting the video, let me tell you don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and for more updates you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Telegram through this following links. Let's get started guys. Okay. So first of all, what is price rigidity? See, in oligopoly market, firms are well aware that any increase or decrease in the price, it will lead to price war or loss of sales. This leads to price rigidity. That means we have to fix in one price. Whether we will increase or decrease in price, we have to face either price war or loss of sales. So in both the cases, we will have negative impact. So better to be rigid in one price. That is why the term price rigidity. Okay. This is the reason why here in this market, the demand curve is having kingship. See, this is very important for every entrance exam. You can have the question. The demand curve of an oligopoly market is dash. Negatively sloped, king shape or which one? You should know that it is a king shape. Well, why it is a king demand curve? We will study. Okay. So, what is the overview of a king demand curve? Let's see. On oligopoly farms, they have price setting power. But they may be reluctant to use it. But why they are reluctant? See. Rivals unlikely to match a price rise and rivals likely to match a price fall. That means if you will increase the price, your competitor will not match your price because they know you will increase the price. That is why that means what happens? Their price is lower than you. So customers are obviously attracted to your competitor and you are getting loss. In the opposite case, suppose you are decreasing the price, price fall, they will match with your price. That means that is no gain. Okay, there is no gain, but you are having the same customer even in lesser price. So in both the cases, you are having negative impact. So that is why they are reluctant to use it. Okay, so if a farm is settled in one price, there may be a little point in changing it. Even if costs change, we often see price rigidity and stability in an oligopoly market. This increases the importance attached to non-price competition. See, non-price competition is seen in which kind of market? Obviously, it will be oligopoly market. Don't get confused. Non-price competition means it will be oligopoly market. Why? Because you have to be fixed in one price. Okay? So, this is the graph of king demand curve I have told you. Okay, why there is a king? See, well, this is the demand curve M and N, but it's going through M E, then M E N. Why? See, the demand curve is moving from an elastic region to inelastic region. See, I have told you relatively elastic, relatively inelastic. Well, if you have not seen that concept till now, you can easily access through the playlist I have mentioned below. Okay, so from M to E, this is a demand curve, but in this case, this region is relatively elastic, E greater than 1. But when coming to the sector E to N, this is relatively inelastic, E less than 1. Why such? C. Here is our price, P. If you will increase the price to M, C. What I have told you, if you will increase the price, your competitor will not follow you. That means you will have loss because your price is higher. Nobody will come to you. So obviously you will have loss. Okay, see, a slight change in price will make your heavy loss. That means heavy change in quantity. That means it is relatively elastic. Okay, in the opposite case. Suppose you will decrease the price. What happens? I have told you. If you decrease the price, your competitor will follow you. That means no gain. Okay. No gain, but you are having the same customer with lesser price. So in both the cases. Okay. Uh, forget about that. Both the cases. In this case, what happens? Whether if you have changed the price up to a some extent, but there is no change in the quantity. 
okay no gain no gain means it is relatively inelastic right so the demand curve is moving from a region of relatively elastic to a region of relatively inelastic and in the point of kink that is e there the price has to be fixed that is why it is rigid price getting the concept so well this is a king demand curve and at point e or price p the price is rigid price i think you got the concept let's make it final with an example c this is a example of auto rickshaw we can say line auto or line auto rickshaw here we will assume that the charge rate they will charge us that is rupees 10 okay so here there is two cases auto 1 and auto 2 auto 1 if it will increase the price to rupees 11 so that what happens the rival won't follow him then people won't prefer to go with him rather moving to other autos so what happened when he increased the price no customer will come to him so loss of sell that means relatively elastic in the second case what happens auto 2 he decrease the price to rupees 9 why he decrease the uh, decrease the price to rupees 9 in the hope of that more customer will be attracted to come with his auto but immediately all the rival autos that means competitor autos they will also decrease the price to 9 that means no gain in sell that is what it is relatively in elastic okay but in both the cases he is getting loss because here also he is getting the same customer in the lesser price so why to go for that so it, this is the reason why they have to stick price has to be rigid on rupees 10 why you got it yes okay finally why it is relatively elastic see carefully when price increased by one form but the other farms are not following him then the farm will incur heavy loss that is the reason why relatively elastic why relatively inelastic when price decreased by any one form and the other farm also followed him then the farm will incur incur no change in gain that is relatively inelastic okay so this is the reason why your king demand curve so in conclusion we can tell that this leads to a point that the demand curve can be drawn with a given assumption that a single price has been established in the industry with price rise by one farm not being followed by others and price decrease followed by others okay so it is the result of change from elastic nature of demand to in elastic nature of demand and that is why king demand curve okay i think your price rigidity concept got clear from this if still you have any doubt you can put your doubt in the comment box i'm there to help you guys till then stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you